Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dan here and we are back with a uh, From the Depths uh, tank building tutorial. So uh, in today's episode, as requested by one of the viewers, we are going to focus on uh, building our main armament, so our turret. Now, you have several different options when it comes to actually just arming your vehicle in general. You can build, um, you know, you can have your turret, you can have just hull mounted weapons like you've seen in one of my vehicles, in fact several of them. You could have missiles, you can have a bunch of other guns, just whatever you want. But for this episode, we're just going to build a very simple uh, advanced cannon uh, weapon turret thing. So, we've got our previous uh, tank model loaded up. Again, it's still just the very basic hull. So, right around here in the middle, we are going to go to new objects. Two axis turret, we're gonna select one axis and we're gonna put it down. So now we can build out our vehicle. So I'm turning on symmetry. In advanced cannons, I'm just gonna go do a simple uh, gauge increase tower up to about there. And then we're going to do a splitter and this is going to get us out to where we want to put our actual cannon firing mechanism, so our advanced firing piece. And we're gonna put that right there. So everything is all connected up already. Now down here, we're going to be a little bit more space efficient and we're going to add in the ability to fit on other things, so. As you can see, currently it's not actually connected to the firing piece, but if we do that, everything's all co connected nice and neatly. So now we're going to just fit some cooling units so that way this thing can actually cool off, which is kind of important. And what else do we want? We are going to just go straight to the autoloaders at this point. So for the autoloaders, just autoloaders, uh, you have some op options for this, you know, depending upon the actual length of the shell, which we'll discuss as we're actually building it out. Uh, or you can do a belt fed, which reloads all the shells at once, but uh, it takes a very long time to reload. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the basic one uh, meter shells. So I'm going to put in quite a few of those. Actually, we're going to tuck them in right there nice and neatly. So next, we are going to select our um, ammo clips. And we're going to connect these up. Now keep in mind, this is a very, very basic turret. And once we actually get it all fitted and ready to go, we can actually add more equipment to it. Because right now, I'm just trying to make sure that it's going to be able to rotate properly. In fact, we could probably get away with if we take this and we actually rotate it like that, like a normal person would, we could get away with fitting some more onto it. So currently we've got a, a very basic uh, reloading mechanism on our vehicle. Uh, next, we're going to actually go up here to the top and we're going to fit a mantlet. So you have different options here again. Uh, for this, we're just going to do what I usually do, and we're going to take uh, the three meter uh, elevation mantlet, and we're going to um, face it vertically, so that way we can traverse the gun up and down, as well as rotating it from side to side with the actual turret block. Um, we'll worry more about barrels after we actually make ammunition for this thing. So next, we're going to do the ammo input feeder. I'm just going to make sure that this thing is able to receive ammunition. It's kind of important because that's the main function of this. No, we don't want to do that. Because that's where we're going to put the AI. So now we're going to go underneath our firing piece here. So this is going to be where we hook up um, 
our local weapon controller. So this is going to be in charge of making sure our vehicle is capable of actually uh, aiming the gun. And we're going to get uh, a receiver. Now, typically you'd want to put a fail safe on these, but I never really do it because these machines are so small to begin with. The odds of it actually shooting itself is very, very slim. But if you're building a larger vehicle, you probably want to fit um, uh, fail safe. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to actually make sure that this thing has uh, recoil absorbers because, well, we're building a very large caliber gun. And, uh, well, it's going to have some issues whenever we start firing it because it's going to be firing a very, very powerful shell. So we're going to put some recoil absorbers on it. That should help negate some of the recoil. So next, we are actually going to work on building our uh, ammunition. So... We're going to switch back over to the hall, and probably just in this corner, we're going to build our uh, ammunition. So we're going to go to ammo controller, we're going to select this, and we're just going to put it down. Now, considering we're building a very, very small shell, we only really need maybe two of these. So here, we're going to go for uh, a pretty standard uh, armor piercing shell. So the top we're going to do a sabot head and below that we're going to do a sabot warhead body then we're going to increase the gauge up to 293 and it says here that we need uh, a two meter rack but actually what i think i'm going to do in place of that is we are going to decrease the caliber of the shells by increasing the number of barrels so now we can easily get away with uh, just having a single uh, auto, auto loader. Is this actually what I set it to be though? Is it actually supposed to be um, 146? Yeah. All right, so now we've got our basic shell worked out. So we're gonna switch back over to our turret we're going to select one of these. We're going to select our ammo controller, force assign all ammunition uh, things to this intake. So this is going to go ahead and start filling up our ammunition racks. Now we're going to switch back to the hull because I just remembered we actually need to fit uh, an AI to this. So we're going to go to local weapon controller and we're going to put one of those down there. And then we're going to do another receiver. Now... Another thing we actually still need to do is give this thing an AI because that's kind of an important component. Now, for this, we don't really need a whole lot to make sure that this operates. So I'm just going to put it back here. We are going to get a transmitter, put that down there. And then we are going to get our uh, card slots. We're going to get aim point selection, target prioritization, and our land movement. So this is going to be our main AI. This is going to be in charge of controlling everything. And it's going to be in charge of functioning with this turret. Now we're going to switch back to the turret. And I just remembered we need to do one more thing. I'm going to dismantle that real quick. And we're going to instead replace this with a connector. So the reason we're doing this is so that way we can actually put a detection system on this uh, machine. So what I typically use is I use the uh, coincidence uh, range finders. And we're just going to go for uh, a range finder, five meter armor, just because I like being able to use these things and they typically work really well. So um, hmm, I don't want to do this. Yeah, that'll work. So now we basically have it set up so that way our vehicle can fire, but we probably wanna make it a little bit more accurate. So we're gonna put some barrels down. 
And to help with the cooling, we're going to put a pore evacuator towards the end because this is a weaker portion of the barrel. So this has 200 health. The regular barrel has 225. So it's slightly weaker. So the further you have it towards the end, the better. So that way, if it gets destroyed, you won't lose your entire gun. And then I'll just put another one right down there. So we've got a pretty fast uh, shell, pretty accurate. The recoil force is still pretty high. So to help with that, we are going to fit a uh, muzzle brake. So that'll bring it down a bit, but it'll also take down the uh, velocity of the shell, but that doesn't really matter. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this below our gun, just because looking at this, it's going to be kind of difficult to build uh, a turret around this, as well as we're going to remove that and we're going to replace it with a single one. So as for building our turret, I'm gonna move this forward too. Uh, sorry about the, the indecisiveness. I'm just trying to build this um, how I would. So the process of actually building something is more time consuming for me. So now that we have our basic turret, we can work on armoring it. But first, before we actually do any of that, I'm just gonna show that this thing actually can function. So we can take control of our turret, we can rotate it around, we can fire it. So that fires two shells at the same time. And if you wanted to adjust that, you could go down to the max rate of fire and you can set it to however you want. So if we set it nice and low, it will match up. With it. So we've got a, a stagger fire on our turret. And we are going to go over here and I'm going to spawn in something for it to shoot at. We're going to spawn in one of our own vehicles. As you can see, it is firing away. It's not the most powerful thing, but it is able to punch through some metal pretty easy. Uh, so it's also AI dead because there isn't an AI on this. But as you can see, it's it's chipping away. So if you just imagined having a bunch of these all hooked up and firing at the same time, it would be pretty devastating. So now we're gonna actually work on putting on a turret cap. Now this is not by any stretch of the imagination the most beautiful thing I've ever built. In fact, looking at it, it's kind of just ugly, but it'll get the job done. So we're gonna go ahead and select our turret again. And what I typically do is I'm going to move this back to because uh, that was bothering me. So what I typically do is I start by laying a foundation before I make it look nice. Uh, I just go get metal blocks and I do my best to encase the turret uh, as much as I can. So the main idea behind what I'm doing right now is just to make sure that I can cover up everything before I go and build any you know aesthetic based stuff because it's in kind of it's kind of important to make sure that your turret is actually able to you know survive taking a beating before it goes down which ugh. it's kind of the purpose of having a turret is making sure it can I keep taking that off um Typically, I don't actually have access to the turret via like little openings, but for time's sake and just sanity's sake, I'm going to just leave that open. It's pretty safe where it is. All right, so our turret above the hull is completely covered, but uh, as there is a little bit of um, this below, we're probably gonna wanna make the turret cap a bit larger. So the main idea of the turret is just to make sure that it is as heavily armored as possible in the front because that's mostly where your turret's going to be aiming. So if you can make sure that the front of the turret is as heavily armored as it can be, then you should be good to go. So we're kind of doing a turret design that I've used in the past. Uh, I, this isn't exactly what it was, but it's going to be pretty close. So. What I'm doing now is I'm just removing components so that way I can 
round out the turret and I can make it look nicer. Now, this isn't exactly important, but if you want to make a turret look good, you probably want to go about doing some stuff like this. Granted, it kind of negates some of the, uh, the armor, but considering it's also slanted back, it's going to hopefully bounce some more shots. So that's the kind of design process that you would be wanting to think about. Do you want to be building something that looks nice, or do you want to be building something that's very practical and typically speaking I go with looking nice just because it looks better all right so we've got a, a reasonably rounded front to our turret um, I'm going to just go the extra step and uh, go a little bit more crazy with this Also, I'm just going to apologize right now. I've got a bit of um, you know, a pretty nasty toothache right now. I can't tell if it's something to do with uh, just toothache or if it's I need a filling or anything like that. So if, my, if I sound a little different, I don't know if I would, but if I do, that's probably the reason why. So we've now got a very basic uh, rounded turret design. Uh, again, it's not exactly the most beautiful thing I've ever made, but it definitely will get the job done if we put it up against anything. Uh, so that is basically the, uh, the basics of building the turret. Uh, to give you an idea of how to make this better, you would probably, first off, you'd probably want to go for a better just turret design in general. Uh, the easiest way to do this is just to be experimenting with different things. Uh, the more auto loaders you have, the faster your gun's going to be able to fire because it'll just keep feeding shells into the barrel. So the more of them you have, the increasing, uh, the increase in the effect that that actually is. But the downside is you're going to have more ammunition stored in your thing. So if it gets detonated, you know, it blows up and everyone dies. But that's not exactly important. You're probably here just to figure out how to build your first tank and how to actually make everything compact and work properly. And I just realized this is a completely different color from the hull. It's probably because I've been building the entire time with uh, my fleet colors. So that's fun. But anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you've got any questions or concerns, run them by me and I'd be more than willing to help you guys out. But with that, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.